YouTube. We have a very action-packed and exciting video today. By action-packed and exciting, I mean probably the most boring video I've ever put up, but I really need to do this at some point or another, so. Let me start off by saying that this is my 64th video. I really wanted to dedicate it to the Nintendo 64 because it's my favorite system like of all time. I have so many wonderful games that I love on it and like, ugh. But uh, me, being the brilliant person I am, accidentally left it at home when I came up here to my new apartment. So that's just gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm making this video because I have some things that I want to recommend to you guys. Now a lot of these things that I'm going to throw out there are well known, you probably have heard of them, some of them maybe not, maybe you've heard of all of them, maybe you've heard of none of them, blah blah blah. Point is, I think everything that I'm going to mention here, you should check out. End of story. It was a really poor decision to put a light next to my camera to illuminate me because every time I look around I'm just blinded. Oh boy. Most of the things that I'm recommending here are online videos. Uh, they're groups that make videos or people that make videos uh, that either parody video games, they have a web series, they uh, review video games, stuff like that. The first one I have here in honor of my 64th video or that just happens to be coincidental, I'm not sure. Mega64, they do video game parodies, and you should all uh, watch them. You can just find them online. Go to mega64.com, search it on YouTube. And then, if you like what you see, they actually do have a version 1, 2, and 3, Mega64. Uh, there's actually a story behind the whole dealio, and it strings all of the random little clips that you'll find online together. And my DVD case is broken because I stepped on it. Sorry, Rocco. But yeah, buy this. Next is a group that does kind of reviews in a fun way. I wouldn't even call them reviews, but they're definitely something you're going to want to watch. Going to want to watch. Going to want to watch. Gonna, that's interesting to say. Awesome video games. AVG. Uh, not AVGN. Just AVG. Not like the antivirus. You can also find these online. You can go to youtube.com slash farfromsubtle. Is that how you say it? Subtle? Sub, subtle? Su subtle. I think that's it. And then if you like what you see there, absolutely buy this DVD. This DVD is probably the greatest compilation ever. There are so many extra features. So much good stuff is on this thing. It's completely worth the money. You have to buy it. I'm not even giving you a choice on this one, just, you have to. The next one I have to talk about, I don't have a DVD for, I don't think DVDs exist because I'd probably own one if they did. Ta-da! That's Ashley. Her and her brother Anthony and her mom and dad kind of uh, make videos and they're called Hey Ash, Whatcha Playin'? They're probably my favorite thing on the internet. They have tons of videos for tons of different games and they're all so good. Get on that. One that you've probably all heard of, The Guild. Uh, Felicia Day wrote it, I think, or she just directed it, or she just wrote it and didn't direct it. She's in it. The Guild is a great web series. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that it's declined recently. I think it's still really good. It's in its fourth season now. It's fantastic and kind of branching off the guild in a way because one of the co-directors is uh, Zabu from the guild uh, along with Tony Jannings or Jennings or something. They co-direct a series called The Legend of Neil. The Legend of Neil is about a man who is like upset about uh, his girlfriend cheating on him or something so he gets drunk, tries to kill himself, ends up in Zelda because he was playing it at the time or something like that. There's a little song in the beginning to help you remember it but I'm not gonna sing it because I'd rather not embarrass myself today. Like, that's avoidable. I had a Legend of Neil poster. I honestly don't know where I put it. And I paid for it, so, uh, I should probably find that at some point. It was brought to my attention a few weeks ago when I mentioned Club Nintendo in a video. A lot of people were like, Club Nintendo, what's that? Now, if you don't live in North America, I can't exactly speak for, uh, your version of Club Nintendo, so I apologize ahead of time, but 
Uh, I am only familiar with the American version. I know that Europe and I know that Japan both have their own versions, and I also know they get better prizes than us, but I can't help you there, sorry. Anyway, Club Nintendo is easy. You just go to club.nintendo.com. There, you sign in. If you don't already have a name, then you create one. You enter in the codes that you find inside your games. Open your game. It's in one of the first pamphlets here, right here. This is the one. It says, register your software. And on the back, I'm going to cover it a little bit so that you guys can't copy it from me. That is the PIN number, and you enter that on there, and you get points for every game you register. And then you get more points for a little survey that you fill out. What do you do with them? Well, you get tons of cool prizes depending on how many points you have. Uh, so far, I've only claimed two things from Club Nintendo, and that was a set of three Mario posters and a set of three Zelda posters. And I love them. I can uh, show them to you some other time. I don't have them all up here right now. It looks like this, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, some of the prizes are kind of lame. Uh, but some are really cool, some are really useful, like there's a DS game holder that I'm considering getting because I have a lot of DS games and carrying all the cases around all the time, not so fun. But aside from the prizes that are available, they also have a cool little promotion that they do every year. If you reach a certain number of coins within that year, you get status, you can either be gold or platinum. And if you're at gold status by a certain date in June, then you get a certain prize on top of whatever else you have. And if you're at platinum status by the end of June, you get a better prize. Basically, if you're already buying the games, if you've already got the codes lying around, enter them. You're wasting them otherwise. There's so much free stuff you could be getting. And the final thing I just want to mention before I forget in like future videos, because I will, October 8th to 10th, I'm going to be in Florida. Not just anywhere in Florida. I'm going to be in St. Augustine, Florida at a convention called EXPCon or XPCon and I just wanted to let you know so in case anybody wants to get their tickets now who lives close by there's not a lot of hotel space left but you know if you're gonna go then go come say hi to me uh, I'll be around that's for sure I guess technically I'm like a guest I don't know exactly what that means but uh yeah I'll put a link to that down below too and you should all check that out so anyway, why am I showing you all these? Well, I'll tell you why. There are so many free things on the internet. So many. And so many of them are ignored. There are tons of great shows that revolve around video games, like the ones I mentioned. These are personally my favorite uh, things to watch. And I was wondering if any of you have any super duper fantastic gaming related uh, stuff to show me. What shows do you guys watch? What web series are out there that you enjoy? Is there anything new and budding that you want to, you know, show me? Show other people? Show the world? So please, 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 please leave a comment down below or a video response and let me know what I should watch. Also, please, 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 if you haven't checked out any of these people, these people, do it. They're all really good and I promise none of them, like, paid me to talk about them or anything like that. I'm just doing it because I love them and I want more people to watch them because they're so entertaining. You will be happy if you do it. I actually just remembered something kind of important. You all should go to freezecracker.com because it's a cool site and there's a great community and a lot of fun stuff like that. Uh, go to it uh, and you can talk to me. Oh, by the way, I'm working on a new cosplay for EXPCon. I don't think I'm just going to be like, oh, it's this. I think I'm going to just show you the wig. It's a mess right now, I know. But that's the wig so far, half edited. Here's the belt. You can guess from that. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this little quickie. Don't forget to leave me your suggestions down below. And I think that's all for now. So, new video in just a few days, believe it or not. Uh, I'm gonna really, really try to be on top of it this time. I know I'm pretty bad at that. We'll see. Love you. Diku, diku, diku.